Hello, welcome to a quick video in which I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Ansible on Ubuntu 2204. So what we've got here is the documentation. I'll put a link to this and all the commands I've used in the installation in the description of the video. So the recommended way to install Ansible on Ubuntu is to use pip and the command is python3 pip install Ansible. You can either install it globally or just for the user. So this command here is doing it for the user and we're going to install Ansible also into a virtual environment. So I've already got an Ubuntu machine here. This is a clean install. I've done nothing to this apart from update the packages. So just to let you know this, I've done sudo update and upgraded the packages. So we can do that again just to show we are all good. All the updates have been done and oh, there's another one. There we go. Okay, so that's done. And I've also installed NetTools and OpenSSH server. So I can do an IF config and get the IP address of this server. That's it. So that's all we've done. The rest of it is a completely clean install on here. So to install Ansible, first of all, we need to get pip installed onto the box. So to install pip, it's sudo apt install python three dash pip. Now I will pause any long sort of software updates as this goes through. Uh, it's a bit boring watching updates going in. Okay, that took about 30 seconds. Uh, we've now got pip installed. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is install a virtual env software. So we're going to install this in a virtual environment. So we do that first by installing sudo apt install python3 hyphen virtual env. And while this is installing, if you've not heard of virtual environments, you are creating a folder on your Ubuntu machine in which you're going to install a another version of Python and whatever packages you want, which are completely separate from the global packages that are installed on your machine. So if I now do a pip freeze on here, this will show me all the packages that are installed on this Ubuntu desktop and this is literally out of the box so these are already there. So to create a virtual environment you need to run this command virtual emv clear this so you can see it virtual env minus p which is the version of python which I'm going to do 3.10 so here you could type 3.9 and it would install Python 3.9 into this folder. And then this is the name of the folder where we're going to install everything. So this has now created me a virtual environment. If I do an ls, you can see I've now got a folder here called vmv-ansible. And then we need to activate that virtual environment by source vmv -amphible. This is the folder slash bin slash activate and you can see the prompt changes so I'm now running in a virtual environment if I do pip freeze now you can see I have no packages installed so if I type ansible it says ansible is not installed and Ubuntu at this point will also recommend the way to install ansible and they would say use sudo apt install ansible core or sudo apt install ansible. Now, over here is the version that would get installed. So you can see it's going to install 2.12 or with core or just the 2.10 with ansible. Now, you don't want this uh, because these are earlier versions. The current latest version of ansible is 2.16. So to install that, we're just going to run pip install Ansible. That will download the current latest version of Ansible that is hosted on the PIP software 
repository. And you'll see the next download is going to say, here we go, Ansible Core 2.16.3. And it'll install a load of other packages as well. This will take about 30 seconds. And once this completed, you will have Ansible installed the best way on your Ansible host. So these packages are going in. Takes about 30 seconds. And that's done. Short and sweet. All we had to do was run the command pip install Ansible. Okay. And then to validate this Ansible dash dash version, Ansible core 2.16 installed on Ubuntu. Job done. Okay. My name is Roger Perkin. I am a network automation architect. I'm based in the UK. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be building on this. So this is my Ansible machine. I'm going to do a whole series on network automation and how to use Ansible to do that. If you like that, then please hit that subscribe button and watch out for the next video. And I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.